hi friends i'm back with one more video so today i thought of uh, showing you one live reverse buying and i'm sure like uh, majority of the retailers are not clear with the concept of what is reverse buying just for the formality purpose they are just doing it but i'm sure like maybe not i would not say 99 percent but maybe majority of the retailers are not clear with the uh, reverse buying so i'll let you know uh, why reverse buying why do we do the reverse buying and also i'll show you live reverse buying okay so let me take you to my real trade okay so this is my iron fly which i have deployed for 26 22nd september so today today is almost like 14 so i have another like uh, 8 to 9 days okay though my trade is showing 1300 loss i have not done the adjustments because i'll not do the adjustments until my break even is breached because i have additional 9 to 8 to 9 days but today let me show you what is reverse buying okay so now market the testing side is on the call side right uh, if you look at this vertical line this is almost at uh, on your testing side so don't you think we can do the reverse buying the reason of doing the reverse buying is there are like only two things first of all when the market is on the testing side your premiums on the put side will become low okay premiums will become cheap that is point number one just because the premiums have become cheap it doesn't make sense if you start doing the reverse buying so checklist number two is like first of all yes the premiums will be cheap we can just go ahead and do the reverse buying by just paying like 10 rupees or 15 rupees maybe uh, let's say if the market comes here maybe uh, today end of the day at 320 so i don't mind doing the reverse buying because when the market stands here on my uh, call break even by that time the premiums would have become very cheap okay i'll show you the second thing is like whenever we are planning to do the reverse buying other than the premiums becoming cheap there is one more very important factor which you need to consider you have to do the reverse buying only when you expect this can act as a <coughs> resistance this break even or else this can act as a resistance so when you are doing the reverse buying what are you doing you will exit this 39 30 what is this 39800 and you will roll up right so whenever we buy put why did we buy put actually whenever we buy the put we want market to come down all right so there is a very good logic over here if i am just rolling up this by exiting 39800 and if i'm planning to buy 40000 okay so definitely i know that there is a strong resistance at year or there is a strong resistance at uh, 41820 so i know market might take a u turn so what will happen if the market take u turns <coughs> point number one before the market take u turns you will get cheap premium point number one that is like uh, we have already discussed and let's say the market retrace from here right taking the support of the resistance or if it retrace from here so then what happens whenever the market falls the this uh, the 30 40 000 by what we bought so that will start giving us the profit you got my point this is what reverse buying just because of the formality purpose of doing reverse buying if you are doing that would not help you need to know the logic point number one again i'm repeating point number one now your premiums will be very cheap you can do the reverse buying but <clears throat> if you feel like market doesn't have a strong resistance if market keeps going up and up and up so there is no point in doing reverse buying because when the market keeps going up the purpose of buying the premium the purpose of buying the pe is market has to retrace if you think that market will go in one direction then there is no point in doing the reverse buying okay let me show you now how to do the reverse buying so 39,800 we have two quantities what i'll try to do i'll just exit 39,000 to 39,800 okay i'll exit right exit in the sense i'm just squaring off and now check the check the this thing so if i go by 100 points okay if i go by if i want to roll up by 100 points friends so how much of premium we are giving see check the difference spread 39800 minus 39800 is like 100 rupees right but how much of premium we are giving extra debit just 15 rupees right 165 minus how much 150 is 15 rupees let me explain you this is very very critical for you to understand so the spread difference was what 100 right 100 minus we are just giving 15 rupees premium okay so we are saving 85 into 25 rupees we are saving 2125 loss on my sorry on my put side with 100 points roll up by sacrificing how much we are able to save 2000 
125 loss by sacrificing just by giving 15 rupees debit into how much 25 lot by just giving 375 rupees extra debit we are saving how much see that's what right uh, uh, 15 means uh, 85 85 into 25 is a lot so right 2200 loss now what i'll try to do see that's what happened right so let me show you here right let me unselect this so what was your initial loss 14469 by just i have unselected by now i'll select it by just rolling up by 100 points i was able to reduce almost like 4000 loss yes there is a some loss getting added but how much is that loss see let me show you. this is very important friend right what was your original loss 14500 okay now check your loss on the call side this has increased to only 15249 the extra debit what we have paid that loss gets added that's it by just adding how much like 700 or 800 loss on the call side we are able to mitigate almost 4000 loss on the put side so now i'll show you one more thing right If I want to go for another hundred points, I'm planning to exit this. If I want to go for another hundred points, so now what is the spread now? Two hundred points, okay. Spread is two hundred, okay. And how much of uh, debit we are giving? One eighty one minus one fifty, okay. Let me show you that one eighty one minus one fifty. What is that? Thirty uh, one rupees. So by just giving thirty one rupees, right? By just giving uh, sacrificing. Seven seventy five, right? Seven seventy five. We are able to mitigate the loss of one seventy into twenty five. That is almost like four thousand two fifty, friends. You got my point? Just by giving thirty five rupees. That's it. Thirty one rupees. Because check the difference. This is two hundred. Difference out of two hundred, we are just giving thirty rupees. So by sacrificing thirty into twenty-five lot, we are able to reduce the loss of four thousand two fifty. Now let's check the pro loss. I'll deselect one more time. Your loss was fourteen thousand on the downside. Your loss was fourteen thousand on the upside. By just doing this reverse buying, you are able to get your loss from fourteen thousand five hundred to six thousand on the put side, and. there is not a drastic loss on the call side because i pretty well know that bank nifty will retrace from either from my break even here right this is where right either from my break even or else from my edge right i have that strong feeling if that doesn't happen so then i'll i'll just uh, try to mitigate this loss by doing n number we have n number of adjustments let's start i'll try to start selling from the opposite side i'll try to get this buy wing inside to my break even so that i'll be able to mitigate the loss yes loss would be there if the market keeps going in one direction right first what i'll do see first what i'll do i'll just exit this which one is that i'll just exit this 41800 and i'll get it to my break even what is that 41000 Four hundred or forty-one thousand five hundred. The moment I do that, my loss will be mitigated, right? I'll be having only this much of loss. That's it. Sorry, this. Sorry, let me show, right? I'll be having the moment I roll up to my break even this one. So my loss will be this much, right? If the market keeps again going up and up and up, what I'll do? I'll just try to sell from here. right so that my loss will be like again further mitigated again if the market goes up i'll try to sell from here i'll try to sell from here so finally what i'll do i'll make my fly green on the upside i'm okay to get zero loss because my capital is very precious for me okay so now worst case on a not worst case on a good case on a good case let's say i've done this adjustment let's say the market again retrace right if if it comes here or if it comes here so my loss i've already mitigated from 14500 to how much to just 6000 the the moment the market again comes here you got it right the moment the market again comes like it it comes here so then i'll do the reverse buying from the call side the moment i do this right so by this by the time the market stands here my loss is only 6000 so this call side premiums will become cheap the moment i do the reverse buying my loss will become something like this right i'll be able to mitigate all this loss and a loss will just increase by 3 uh, 6600 to 700 rupees based on what premium i'm giving but finally Finally, what I'm able to do achieve, I'm able to mitigate the loss on my calls on my put side, and also if the market uh, takes a U-turn, I'm able to 
mitigate the loss on the call side again if the let's say the market keeps like upper side so then i'll do one reverse buying year reverse buying year so end of the week so my plan is to make the trade something like this that's it this is profit maybe like one percent profit or 10 rupees profit profit is profit i do not have the loss this is my plan so friends i was not trying to show showcase this thing but you try to understand the purpose of we doing the reverse buying just for the formality purpose if you're doing reverse buying that would not help so there are like two things involved in doing the reverse buying again let me reiterate if if there are like experienced trader you can just quit the video again you'll write you'll you will write a comment saying that you are repeating two to three times friends try to understand i'm repeating only for those new traders i know the pain point i went through so i don't want the other retailers to go through that pain point if you are a senior guy if you have understood just quit the video i'm just repeating this for all the new traders okay so the purpose of doing reverse buying is like point number one when the market stands here right your premiums okay let me uh, uncheck all these things let me uncheck all these things okay now you'll get to know right the when the market stands here okay let me show you right market is standing here so your testing side is your call side because you have just like maybe like 0.5 percent move so then by that time by that time your premiums on the put side will become cheap so you'll get a golden opportunity for you to do the roll up by just giving minimum to minimum debit if you wanted to do the reverse buying on the call side you will be surprised okay let me show you that example also you cannot do the reverse buying now because testing side is your call side the premiums will be very high let me show you right if you want to do the reverse buying let's say you wanted to roll down from 41,800 to let's say 41,700 let me show you this would help right 41,800 okay where is 41,800 uh, yeah 41,800 eh? let's say if you want to do the reverse buying check the difference right 100 rupees is the difference if you want to roll down 100 rupees check it 319 you should understand all these calculations friends what is that 319 premium okay where is that 41,000 yeah 41,000 where is that sorry what was that so this is what I forget every time okay 41,800 right if I want to do the roll down 41,800 so let me mark it right right 319 minus 280 so you're giving 40 rupees per 100 so you got my point you're you're you're, you're giving a 40 rupees of extra debit for just moving a 100 points roll down right so how much you're spending 40 into so almost like 40 into 25 so you're spending more debit here 1000 but when we are planning to do the reverse buying on the put side you got right on the put side let me show you one more time right this is very important for you to understand 39,800 okay 39,800 because there, there is some complaint from majority of the folks saying that I'm just repeating because I have a meaning for it right let's see see this check this 154 minus 169 you see the difference so there is only 15 rupees if you want to go for 200 points right 186 minus 154 right even you're getting the same cost right what is this 186 minus 154 so net net you are just giving 32 rupees for a roll down of 200 points from 39 800 to 40 you got the logic this is what happens with the reverse buying until and unless you know the logic of reverse buying don't do it for the formality purpose right that was one of the criteria what did we say when the market stands here your premium will become very cheap you can do the reverse second point is like you should do the reverse buying only when you feel that the market can retrace from your break even or else you're between your break even and your edge or else from the edge before the expiry if you feel like market can take a u-turn uh, from here so then go for reverse buying but what will happen if you go for reverse if you go for the market takes a u-turn so your buy position whatever buy position you have that will start giving you the profit i did my best in terms of explaining you in live if you're able to understand give it a like for the effort if you did not understand pause the video again watch the video from the start all right so just for the effort give it a like friend all right thank you